Hi there, this is Durga Diana from Empathic Moon 777. I want to welcome you to this reading. I just did a spiritual spray for this reading and for whoever this reading is for. Uh, we have an energy here of an indecision. I'm getting right into the energy. Somebody wants this reading. Um, there is an ending here, but it's uh, somebody's coming out of this ending. Like it's painful, but they're wanting to come out of this. There's some kind of indecision here. And what is this uh, have, having to do with? It's having to do with some kind of commitment. Um, non-movement in this engagement or non-movement in this commitment okay uh non-movement in the completion to have this engagement ring all right yes there is somebody is heartbroken and um this person is trying to get out of that energy and this is the situation right now uh, i am getting here that there is some kind of like spying type of energy here and there is some kind of loneliness so somebody is in a very hurtful energy and they're um also in an energy of feeling alone and they're also in an energy where they may be in an energy of isolation but there has been some kind of ending here but they're trying to get out of this is what i'm getting and with the spying energy i'm going to see what this is connected to it's having to do with maybe some kind of spy in the investigator um okay there's the spy is maybe has an addiction issue um, this spy maybe has some kind of codependency. Uh, so this person, there is some kind of sickness attached to this spy. They could be have some kind of addiction. What I mean by that, obsession, possession, controlling. So this person has a controlling energy here, okay? This person is watching, all right? Watching um, this energy, okay? Um, there is a stall here with the completion. Uh, there is a stall here uh, in relation to maybe a commitment. So it's going to be different for everybody here, but uh, just take the energy how it applies. The bottom of the deck here is that somebody has some kind of truth and clarity about this um, about this person, this toxic person, about this controlling person. There is a truth there, and this person is holding that truth in connection to that. But there is some pain here. I'm going to find out more about this pain, okay? Okay, we're going to do that again. Okay, so we have an energy here. Um, this person is healing. This person in this pain is, you know, needing to rest themselves. All of Almost all of these are swords here. This could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have the Virgo energy here, okay? But it doesn't necessarily have to. Um, very, very strong, uh, hurtful energies. Uh, this sword and rose. This person has a very strong truth here, all right? They had a revelation, in fact. some uh, Something was um, uh, awakened in this person to see the truth of the situation, all right? And I do feel like, in some sense, this could have been... Uh, maybe something spiritual where you know spirit came in to bring in this truth with this person there is an energy where this person is in a lot of troubling energies right now um, they're feeling alone they want to come out of it they need to heal I do feel they're very sad uh, there could have been even a breakup here okay um, but there is some kind of revelation that this person had and right now there is a stall here with this um, this stall here could be related to um, a partnership. There is no movement or something like that, okay? So we're going to find out a little bit more here with this energy. Okay. Oh, no, there's two cards there. That was the Queen of Cups, but there was two cards associated with it. We're going to keep going. Okay. So the Nine of Pentacles is somebody in a single energy, okay? In relation to maybe some kind of competition or some kind of fighting. There, there has been some kind of fighting here for sure. There has been some kind of ending. And this person is, there's a lot of hurt. There could have even been some kind of um, grieving or what does it say here? Feeling lost, mourning. There's definitely a very strong energy here of something major that has happened, okay? And it's very, very troubling and this person feels alone. But something has broke free and there is some kind of energy here relating to the Nine of Pentacles, which is a single energy. Let's find out about the single energy, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, hold on. Two cards came out.
Okay, so somebody is stabilizing themselves and securing themselves in their independence here. Uh, there is an energy to be flexible in this energy. I am seeing here it's about a new phase. So somebody is coming out of this in a new... Um, they're going to be trans transformed. There is going to be growth, a changed mind. There is going to be a new phase. And it's going to involve somebody being stabilizing their single. Clarify that this is part three, guys. Thank you so much. And uh, the last card here, we have this person in the single energy wanting to stabilize that. And it's clarified the card came out as the Wheel of Fortune. So the message here is something good is going to come in with this single energy this person in the single energy um let's see what the wheel of fortune says with this nine of pentacles oh there is going to be good news here in actually more than good news the jackpot um with somebody in an independent energy here they're stabilizing this energy. There's a truth here that came has come through. I do feel like this is having to do with spirit helping with this. And the wheel is coming in uh, regarding unconditional love, giving and receiving. There is going to be some good fortune with giving and receiving unconditional love uh, with somebody who is stabilizing their single and fabulous energy. Um, this is something very, very um, clear, but also there is a lot of, there's there's healing that needs to take place. And so very much some time is needed. Um, and there is a lot of pain here. So there is something major here, but also to something very good is going to come out of this. So let's see what the guidance is here with this person in this painful energy. Okay, I have to show you the, the, the card that fell down with the wheel, wheel of Fortune, Twin Flames. So I'm going to accept that. Twin Flames and Unconditional Love. Things are happening with the Twin Flame connection here. All right. Um, somebody uh, that is single and stabilizing that. There could have been a breakup. But yeah, it. I do see here that yes, things are going to look good here. Okay, we're going to find out guidance for this person that's heartbroken right now who's isolated, who's trying to come out of pain. Okay, so uh, the energy of balance and fairness is going to come in for this person. Um, this is also spirit here. There's a queen of swords here. This is a feminine energy here. This person could be you. This feminine energy is going to be very key in bringing in some information here and some truth, knowledge, wisdom uh, to bring in some balance and fairness with the situation. The bottom of the deck here has to do with a third party connection here uh, connected to a feminine energy in their wisdom and knowledge invest in bringing balance and fairness to this karmic to, relation uh, really put some kind of investment to doing the right thing all right and this justice energy is regarding a karmic relationship do the right thing invest in that uh, you know, if there is some kind of like truth here that's come out here, you know, you are correct because that Ace of Swords is the Ace of Swords came out twice. Clarity, truth, revelation actually it came out. I think it came out like maybe three times here. OK, so whatever this justice is, whatever this truth is that came out, this revelation, you are correct. OK, stand your ground. OK, there, there's something where you need to be very strong in this situation and invest in that to bring in balance uh, to this energy. Um, there is some kind of third party situation and a feminine that has kept up some boundaries due to that. But what needs to take place is investing in the balance and the fairness. All right. This karmic relationship here, we have triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. So this letting go and loving you may be something very significant where you need to stand your ground and invest in that and maybe even be patient with that energy. I'm going to find out more about the seven of pentacles. Okay, so there is some kind of loss energy here. So you're not too emotional. We got the king of cups in reverse. You're not too emotional, okay? 
you are correct stand your ground all right there is some kind of loss here and i'm what i'm getting here no stand your ground you are correct yeah judgment is coming in here there is going to be a change there is a lot of um emotions all over um emotions all over place you are not overly emotional okay you are not okay this is there's a change here occurring judgment clarify this person could be um overly emotional okay we have this energy of coming out of stress here there is going to be a rebirth here something good is coming here judgment yes things are going to progress uh progress you're going to receive what you need all right move on okay um there may be some kind of closure here but come out of the stress here there is going to be a big change regarding this uh chaser in a codependent energy this person who has fears of abandonment issues all right there is going to be a change here stand your ground you are